How about Marvel's Midnight Suns? Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, I recently have been going through all the Marvel Zombie stuff. And you can uh, to, to Twitter too. Yeah, because I they're gonna do a Marvel Zombies episode of What If on Disney Plus. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. I I the last time I ever read anything Marvel Zombies related was when I was fucking a dumb edgy teenager in high school. Uh, most of those books are bad. Don't read them. But <laughs> <laughs> they Marvel Zombies three and four surprisingly take place within the main Marvel universe. And it's all about uh, an organization called Armor trying to contain the zombie infection from jumping over from the Marvel Zombies dimension into the main universe or whatever. And then the primary team who's operating within Armor and fighting against the zombies are the Midnight Suns. Uh, And there's been just like a surprising amount of Midnight Suns related stuff lately. Like there's a lot of rumors about uh disney wanting to do something with the midnight suns some of those rumors are saying that apparently the meeting they had with henry cavill was about getting him to play werewolf by night which like yeah he has the physique for it um for those that don't know the midnight suns are very much like the marvel version of justice league dark which is just a team of superheroes that deal with the mystical side of marvel like doctor strange is a pretty constant member morbius the living vampire is another one werewolf by night who i already mentioned which is literally just he's just a werewolf that's his whole superpower is he's hey i'm a werewolf wade uh-huh um so it kind of makes sense to me that like if it's true that disney and i'm sure they didn't have super a ton to do with this it's just great timing but it makes sense to me that like if disney did want to do a midnight suns thing Maybe this is a good way to test the waters, right? Uh, yeah, they're not even risking anything by having like a, a an official main like head of the head of the team by just having the character like a or, the original character be like the the boss or not the boss the leader. Yeah, and I know a lot of people were co- like, including some of our friends, were confused as to why. Why the name? No characters like Iron Man and Cap. And Captain Marvel are there, and it's like, I mean, one the trailer shows off that they have uh, at least uh, a costume that is very mystical looking for each of them, which looks cool. But also, if you want people to be super into your new property, you kind of need that bridge, that point of familiarity for people, and it's going to be characters like. Iron Man and Captain America and stuff like they kind of did this a similar thing with Guardians the movie where like the connecting point with that was Thanos you know like hey here's the dude that we've been teasing this is how you know it's connected they did it in a shittier way with the Ant-Man movie where it's like hey look here's Avengers camp or the compound and here's fucking Falcon and shit so like it's weird seeing non-mystical characters in a mystical Marvel property, but, like, they kind of need it. Yeah, it's, it's sort of the, like, a, why, X, why Wolverine was Kitty Pride's role in X-Men Days of Future Past. Yeah. Like, why is why is Wolverine? Because he's, a, he's the most marketable character. And he's a character that people already know really well and are tied to. Yeah. Oh, I, here's, here's Agents of Mayhem on sale for $5. <laughs> I was, about to, I was about to say, I was like, I hope we didn't lose grain again. No, no, no. Here I am. I'm here. I just don't. I never have anything to add about comic book stuff. But hey, you wanna, well, y'all want to talk about fucking Robert Kirkman? <laughs> like, I, I know nothing. Um, Speaking of hey. when he wrote the first two Marvel Zombies stories. Yes, I actually did know that. I did. Yes. I, I Let's just say I wasn't reading those comics the right way. The way Marvel wanted me to. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Wow. And I was reading it on my on device, and I just see what's what's Bruce Campbell doing here. Uh okay, in their fucking, it's their fault. <laughs> you know you can't read because I, I was looking for it. That's not available on fucking Marvel Unlimited because they don't have the rights to Evil Dead anymore. Yeah. 
So there is a there for Marvel limited people. There is forever a canon part of the Marvel Zombie story they will never be able to access unless they buy the fucking uh, old like volumes or whatever. Which again, I would not recommend. Marvel Zombies is not good. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's sort of there's a similar thing with uh, Wildcats. They had a they had like the I think the final issue was or what the last storyline or story arc had to do with uh, a- aliens comics. Yeah. And now they can't. If they ever want ever want to reprint that, they can't because uh, yeah. Marvel owns it or owns the property. So if you didn't know, Graydon, um, there was uh, oh geez, I'm about to go through. So Marvel Zombies started off as like a thing in Ultimate Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Reed Richards there made fucking like Bioshock Infinite style made contact with an alternate u- version of himself from a different universe and they kind of became besties and then alternate Reed Richards was like hey you should should like come over here man come visit let's go hang out so that he did and surprise that, that alternate Reed Richards was zombie Reed Richards and what he was trying to do was get ultimate Reed Richards to open a portal into the ultimate universe because they ate everyone on Earth, or there's no one that left to eat, so they want another Earth to eat. So the zombies um, can talk and be, like, normal? They retain their personality and stuff, yes. The more they eat, like, the more full they are. Oh my god. Yes, like, the more they go without... That's actually one of the interesting story beats, is the more they go without food, the more they kind of deteriorate and just become monsters. But then there is a breaking point where if they go long enough without food, they don't feel the need to eat humans anymore and then they just revert to like immortal rotting versions of themselves like spider-man zombie spider-man has a thing where he will go like super hungry and crazy and ravenous and then once he eats something he's immediately wrapped with guilt over what he just did wow it's his senses back but anyway i um, forgot i forgot what um what there are, there's like i think of snickers like it's basically marvel zombies is basically like the whole, hey, are you uh, are you okay? Why? Uh, you should have a stinkers. Eat, they eat it and they become the who they, they, they just become themselves uh, again. You're not you when you're hungry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is exactly the virus. Um, I'm surprised then, Marvel hasn't sued, or I didn't. Right. I'm surprised they didn't sue for that. That's that's exactly where Snickers got that from too. Yeah, Snickers. What the fuck? Um, they uh. So yeah, so it's an, it was initially just a weird story in Ultimate Fantastic Four, and then they decided, yeah, fuck it, let's hire Robert Kirkman to do a full story, and then it kind of branches off from there, and became a sort of became a success when he, when he was writing it. Yeah. So, but the thing is, so like that Marvel Zombie story starts off where the Ultimate Fantastic Four story left off, which means the the world has already been taken over by zombies. So they did a prequel comic that explains where, like, it shows how it started in that universe, and it involves Ash from Evil Dead. Oh. So Ash from Evil... Because Marvel was doing Evil Dead comics. At the end of his run, or at the end of the comic, he dies. And then in the Marvel Zombies, because it was literally called Marvel Zombies versus the Army of Darkness... Uh, he is in heaven, and then <laughs> he, he's in heaven, which gets uh attacked by a zombie version of the hero Sentry. Um, and then he gets knocked down into him and Sentry get knocked down into the Earth on the Marvel Universe, and then Sentry immediately infects all the Avengers. And then for pretty much the whole story of the comic is Ash traveling a marvel universe that's like being quickly overrun by zombies looking for the necronomicon because he's convinced that they're all deadites and oh yeah and then the story he ends up fighting the necronomicon at doom's fortress in Laveria, and the necronomicon deadass is like hey y'all this this wasn't me like i don't know what this is but it's not me and then he convinces the Necronomicon to help because he's like, you're literally a book bound in flesh. What do you think they're going to do when they find you? <laughs> the Necronomicon's like, fair. Um, and then working with Doom, that story ends with like Doom using the Necronomicon to open a portal to a different dimension 
where Ash takes a bunch of survivors from that area and then Doom sacrifices himself to do so. But like, yeah, the that story shows like Shield being overrun. Like Shield was the last bastion of defense, and there is a Shield team that is still alive in the first story. So like, it very much is like tied to it. But now they can't have that story on Marvel uh, Unlimited or reprint it yourself because they don't own the rights to Ash or the Evil Dead franchise anymore. Mm-hmm. So there's yeah, there's forever part of the Marvel Zombie story you can't technically read it or buy anymore. Um, so Al, why did you say that it wasn't the way you were supposed to read it? Like it sounded like you were upset. No, no. Let's just say the way the way I acquired it. Oh, I got you. You went about looking for that in a certain way. I, I looked elsewhere. That's I all feel you. Yeah, right, I, you know. The whole the, what Roll just said, like um, how like a vital part of the story is missing. That's sort of like a that's pretty much the beta game uh, with the beta games like when someone gets to let be listed. Yeah. Like an, another comic book example or comic book game example is X Men: The Official Game. Which is the bridge from X Men Two to X Men Three? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it explains what, like, despite the game not being the best, like not, not being the best video game, or being the, looking looking great. The whole like, ironically, the story is great because Chris Claremont wrote it. Uh huh. And the whole like the sort of the main character is uh, Nightcrawler. And explains why he he's in X Men Two but not X Men Three, like he just he's he's sort of um, like beaten up and like not physically but emotionally. And he's like I I don't want to I don't want any part in this because of like all the violence that being associated with the X Men brings. Right. And I just it may be the most it may be the worst looking X Men game like on on the three sixty. And I'm saying this as someone who played X Men Destiny, <laughs> a game that has like that whoever like all the copies that were sold or that or all, all the copies that weren't sold were destroyed. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you, do you remember the Silica Knights um, lawsuit with Epic? Yeah. Because they lost the lawsuit, or because of the lawsuit in general going on, and like the whole lawsuit being centered around the Unreal Engine. They were for they were required by law to destroy any unsold copies of the games. Wow! And I have a very very like I have a copy in very good condition. Wow! On that same vein, one of my uh, most prized possessions is a uh, a pretty mint well not mint but very very good condition copy of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the Xbox 360. Like, my disc has not a single scratch on it. Uh, I I also own that game on PS4 as well as the second one digitally, and I can, like, right now still download them. However, hey. this physical copy for 360, uh, they can never take from me. <laughs> they can never take this away from me. I have it on Wii and 360 disc. Yeah, but on PSP, too, didn't you? Didn't you just... Yeah, I did. I bought it on PSP because you told me to. Because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> I, 